Hey folks, Dave here. I appreciate you stopping by and I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, so today we want to take a look at flash burn. And here's what that looks like. So we want to make our wood look like this. So you get flash burn when the laser bounces off of the honeycomb and it creates those burn lines. So to prevent that, we want to lift the wood we're working with up off of the honeycomb bed. And the first time I was made aware of the something that I could do about it was watching a video by the Louisiana Hobby Guy. And he is full of good information. So if you hadn't checked out his site, it would benefit you to do so. So we're going to make some flash burn lifts. And uh, we're going to be able to get those good clean cuts. So initially... I made some out of popsicle sticks because I had some laying around the shop, but since I got a laser, might as well cut something, make it look a little better. So we're going to start with a square. Just push down the shift key, draw out a perfect square, and hit your selector tool. And we're going to make this about 300 millimeters. And that's about the size of your work area. Uh, a little bigger, but it's the size of a, a sheet of basswood plywood, basically. So we're going to select that, turn it into a tool, and then we're going to grab another square, push the shift key, just drag it out. We want it to go not completely halfway. Uh, we're going to leave a gap on in between all of these. Uh, so you can hit your selector tool and then turn that into a uh, cut. Then we're just going to grab the corner and snap it in there. And if you don't have snap on, you can go up here to settings and just look and make sure snap to object, snap to grid is on, and you will be okay. Uh, so we're going to cut part of this out. We're going to duplicate this square. We're going to pull it out, and then we're just going to subtract it and make that corner. Uh, but we want to set that at about 15 millimeters. So we're just going to draw out a rectangle. Hit the selector tool. Make the height 15. And then we are going to turn that into a tool. We're going to duplicate it, pull it out. We're just going to get these over here so we can work with them. We're going to grab this one, go up to a range, and rotate it. And then we're just going to set it right in that corner. Let me get in a little closer. This snaps pretty fantastic, especially since uh, version 1.5 it's uh, a lot stickier than it was before and it snaps from further away so then we're just going to grab both of those go over to weld and weld them and now there's our tool to go in the corner so we're going to grab the corner of that and we're going to snap it in there we're going to grab this second square we're going to grab that corner and snap it into the tool. Uh, don't be shy about using tools because it's really helpful. So then, when you're subtracting, you want to subtract what you're subtracting from, and then what your shift, and then the item you are subtracting. And then you can either go over here and click Subtract, or you can go up to Tools and hit the Boolean Assistant. You can scroll across this and see what the result of your action will be. And that's the one you want right there. And click OK. So now we no longer need this tool. And we can delete that get it out of the way. So now we need four of these. So we're going to select, we're going to go over to the array tool, 
and on the X axis axis we are going to click up four times click OK and we're going to go up and ungroup these then you can just grab them and place them in the corner one at a time uh, you can go up to a range and flip these to get them in the position you want and we just want to see where they're going to lay out and that we have a little bit of space left on each side and we're making these 15 so if you have uh, I've got magnetic tie downs and it would reach across this and still tie into the bed and bad come to worse if you don't have that type you can still pin it off here or you could make these shorter uh, but you can adjust these however you like uh, but you'll be glad you have them so then we just grab this one go to a range and we will flip horizontally grab that corner snap it in get this one over here and we may have to flip it twice flip horizontal and then flip vertical there we go and we'll get this corner and snap it into place so in the end we will cut uh, we're using three millimeter basswood plywood so we're going to cut eight of these two sets of these glue them together and then we're going to cut a 10 millimeter piece to go on top so we'll have a lip to set our wood on okay so now we want to make our 10 millimeter piece just to give us a lip it doesn't have to be as large as this so we're going to grab a square push the shift key and draw it out proportionately and that is probably good enough and we just want to you can measure that or you can set it about halfway and we're going to use this to to mimic the tool we're going to use this piece here to mimic the tool so we're going to click the ruler and of course I've got my measuring pop up over here and I'm just going to go in here and drag and see if that's close to 10 and that is 750 so I'm going to grab this and bump it in a little bit and then we'll see what we got these measuring tools are pretty handy just getting in close dragging it out and it is 951 right there and that is good enough so what we're going to do we will simulate this as our tool we will get a duplicate of this one pull it out and snap it into the original that we made but then we're going to select our piece we're working with and then shift and select the piece we're subtracting from it go back to our boolean assistant and click subtract and now we have our piece that will glue here and then we'll have an overlap and when you set your wood up there you will uh, just set it right on that lip so now we only need four of these so we'll go to the array tool and click out four 
and then we can arrange these to uh, to cut out. I don't think we'll get this out of a single piece, but but maybe. All right, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to uh, fix these so I can get them cut. Maybe that will do it. We get these here. Like I said, we need a duplicate of this. And we will jump in the laser and cut these out. Uh, if I need to use two pieces of wood, I will. And then we'll put them together, do a test run, and make sure we don't get any flash burn. Okay, folks, I'll be right back. Okay, we're all set up to cut these out. I've got uh, my trusty popsicle stick risers in here, maybe for the last time. And uh, I've got them to fit all on one piece. So we'll cut these out, put them together, and then give them a test run. Okay. Let me uh, get these glued together, and we will take them for a test run. Probably could have got these grouped together a little better with uh, some light burn tools, but uh, we done okay. One piece of wood. All right, give me a few minutes. Be right back. Okay, so our risers are put together and dried. We just stacked the two larger pieces on top of each other and glued them and put the small piece on top. And you just set your piece of wood right on that lip. If your wood's bowed like uh, this piece is, you can just lock it down with the bow. Get the bow out. Uh, in my case, I've got this fence here that I can square up directly up into the fence and still keep my square. You can make these uh, smaller for smaller pieces, of course. And there's a lot of ways you can do this. Uh, this is just one way. Uh, I've seen some people have pins that go in and it just rides above the pin. Uh, but this works for me. Uh, my popsicle stick ones, you could see that there was no flash burn when we used that and we cut these out. So let's, uh, let's just run something and see if we get any flash burn. Okay, so we've got clean cuts and no flash burn. Let me take this off and let's check the back. No flash burn on the back. So if you give this a try and you still get flash burn, it could be your air assist, but before you go replace that, just increase the height. You've got about six millimeters now. Just add another layer to it and make it a little thicker, and uh, you can get it to where you'll be okay. So you will definitely get uh, cleaner cuts and better looking projects. And like I said, there's a lot of ways to do this. You can do pins. You can do different things. You can make smaller pieces for smaller projects. Uh, but whatever you do with it, uh, you'll, you'll be pleased with the result. So I really appreciate you folks taking time to watch. It does help the channel grow. If you have any trouble doing this or anything we've got posted or just have questions, uh, let me know in the comments. 
and I'll get you an answer. If you've got any general laser or light burn questions, send those to me and I'll be glad to get you an answer on that. So uh, just check back often for new videos. You folks take care and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.